and you meet some problems or you have some concern about today's topic, just let me know or you can leave some uh, question or the concern at the chat box. Whenever I get free, so I will take a look and uh, reply your question or concern at that time. So regarding to today's public training topic as a record management in the cross-check cloud. So in today's topic, we, got, we are going to introduce everyone the how to download the record to the soft to the software, which is cross-check cloud, a cross-check extended, and how to add, delete, or modify records manually. So before the training, I will do something about Avis at a glance. So regarding to Amis, we do have 15 years experience to more than 200 patents. And we just released the cloud solutions. We service more than 100 countries. So our algorithm, which is BioNanos, we do have 200,000 projects. And also we do have the RBI and also ACP protocol. So here's our Amis product line. So we do have the access control and time attendance solutions. And also we do have the intelligent surveillance product and solutions. Here's our global sales. So here's our MS 2021 product solutions, which is the access control and time attendance solutions. So let's get to the topic now. So for today's can, uh, co contents, so the first is gonna be about download the record to the, to the cross-check standard. The second will be add the need records or modify record type. Let's go to the first topic, which is the download records to the cross-check standard. So the first, you need to run the software cross extended. And then you need to go to the add device menu, which has referred to the, our previous training course. So you know how to add device. And also make sure you synchronize temperature devices online. So I will show you at the last page, how to preview our previous training. So there is some notes that here, I want to bring everyone's attention. So we meet some like the, the complaints or some like reports, it's not able to download the records because it's here, the device black. During the time you are adding device, please select time attendance, not access control. And now you need to download all the user information. And so you need to go to device menu and also go back up the user. Then it's going to download all the user information to your software. So here's some important notices here. So if the user doesn't exist in your software, his or her records won't be shown correctly. And then you can see these two buttons, which is download new records or download all records. So both are available for you can download attendance records for you. Or you can select the time period or a specific user to download the record. The other way, which is you can download the records, which is from the USB drive. So there's a note here, make sure USB drive has FAT32 format and less than 32 gig best. So in the device menu, you need to go to the data and then you can see the export menu will be available in your device. You can see the record and you can export record to your USB. 
So I will do some demo afterward, use my device to show everyone. So don't worry about this part. So once you get your record in your USB drive, so you can recover the records in your software with your USB. So just insert your USB in your PC or laptop, open the software, and then you can read the record from the USB drive. So here's a menu to check the attendance record. So after downloading the records, you can go to the, the you can go to the record menu, select the user and the time period to check the record. So here's all the details, which is showing at below. And so the person and what's exactly time to punch in or punch out and with which identification mode. You can also export the records in a file. Please select export format and also select export field. You can select as much as you want, such as user ID, date time, and device, and also department, et cetera. And all those, all those fields you can select, it's all optional. Uh, once you finish this part, you can just export the record. The next part, which is gonna be about add or delete records or modify record type. So the first, because it's very usual, if it's the user forget to check in or check out, uh, so they have to ask admin to manually add records, right? So in this case, the admin can go to the, the data menu you can see the append record, which is available for you here. You can just add a record for this user. So you can select the status it's here, select the user department, and also do check the clock time, that's it. So once you add the time, so we'll be accessing your software record. So there's, there's small note here, the record, this, this record, it's only accessing your software. It's not accessing your device because you only need manually add the record in your software, right? So the next part, which is that you need to record in the cross-check cloud, a uh, cross-check standard, sorry. So once you select the department user and the date period, you do the statistical analysis. So you see some records are wrong and coming with the wrong operations. You can change those, uh, you, you can delete those records, right? You select the records. It's gonna be in the next page. So you select the record, which is the, the blue one. And you can see on the right, on the right columns, you can see delete selected. So once you delete these records, it won't show in your software anymore. So you can see it change to the manually handling, right? So once you do the statistical analysis again, you won't see this record showing your software because this record will, is already deleted permanently in your, in your software. But if you download again all the records from the device, the deleted record will show again. So, or you can go to the data menu, go to the clear obsolete data to clear all the records. All the records that were generated before this date will be deleted. So it's a, it's, you can consider it this way. So this is fast deleted. So the time before and uh, will be all deleted. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is modify records in the cross extended. 
if your record type is wrong, you think the operation you're doing for you is wrong, which is the software software help you to adjust the, uh, the status. You think it's wrong, you want to change it, right? You select this record, you can go change the status on the right. You can change the in or out or some other status. And once you finish, and so just click the, the save exceptions, which is the, the fourth one, the save exceptions. It's all done and it's already modified your record. You can see on the next, you can see so once it's, it's showing the operation now as out already, right? So it's all done for the record modifications. So, Let me make some demo for you here. So I'm going to share my screens again. So here's my software. And you can see the device menu, right? So I've already connected my device with my software. You can download all the records. So it's been completed already. So it's really success, successfully 24 records, which is from your device. But before that, make sure you back up all the user, which is download all the user from your device to your software. And now you can check all your records from this menu. And if you want to change some status, you have to change from the attendance menu here. Here is from our device. If you want to export the report from your device directly with the USB, you have to go to the data menu. You can see from the data menu, there's the export, right? Now you can export all the records from your device. So all the Linux devices are the same, coming with the same interface. So that's pretty, it's very similar. Let me show. Oh, I'm going to share my screens again. So today's training is almost done. If you have any concern or the questions, just, just let me know, or you can leave the questions in the chat box about this topic. So I, I will try to help you as much as I can. And by the way, during the time you're typing your questions, I will show everyone how to review all the previous trainings. So once you get uh, you, you get in our uh, Amazon official website, you can go to the, the last one, which is the support from the support menu. You can see the training, right? Then you can review all the previous training course, which is online course. So I believe there is much already as coming with the English version or the Spanish version right now. So if any time with your device, you meet some problems, you cannot solve it. So feel free to ask us. So please send us the trouble ticket. Our technical person is going to reply or give you some help as soon as possible which is from the trouble ticket. Once you submit trouble ticket, our first reply will be in 24 hours. Okay, so I will leave five minutes. So for the question time, just let me know if you have any concern or questions. So I will try my best to help you.